is yours and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Superhero Wednesday, the day of the week we'll like to get damn right down and nerdy and gurdy and who the fuck is gurdy? Our nerdy juices flow and talk about Spider-Man comic books or Funko Pop collections or uh, Marvel Legends shit or who's the best battle. We like to get nerdy and we're going to get extremely nerdy this week. We're going to get nerdy about films and shit. We're going to get nerdy about a super nerdy franchise, fantasy adventure and all that kind of carry on. One of the best biggest, amazing, most beautiful franchises of all time. We're going to talk Lord of the Rings, but more importantly, we're going to talk about my favourite scene slash moments from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So no book shenanigans here, no uh, old film stuff. The live action Peter Jackson trilogy. I've done this kind of video a million times on the channel for like my favourite Spider-Man moments, you know, from No Way Home or my favourite Winter Soldier moments and all that kind of carry on. We've never done it for Lord of the Rings and I don't know why because anybody that knows me knows Lord of the Rings is one of the ultimate things for me. It's alongside uh, football and Pokemon and Spider-Man. It's alongside my favourite things of all time. Absolutely adore ordering so fucking much. And it was because of the unfortunate recent passing of our beloved king, um... Um, that, that made me sort of think we need to do a couple of Lord Rings or at least one Lord Rings video on the channel because we don't talk about it enough. Well, we do on the podcast actually and I do in real life. I just little Josh at work would know because he fucking, I'm doing his tits with it because I'm trying so hard to get him to watch it. But I thought we need to do a video all about it. So anyway, visuals, my favourite Lord of Rings scene slash moments. More importantly, I want to know yours in the comments below. I want to know your favourite character, your favourite, like I said, scene, your favourite moment, your saddest moment, your happiest moment, the most badass moment, your favourite battle. Whatever it is you want to let me know, I want to know in the comments below. I want to get all Lord of Rings. I want to get up all in those rings. <laughs> Way to just ruin a video. I want to know everything you love and don't love as well. Actually, one of the things that do you read in maybe about Lord of Rings, um, about this, because it is peak cinema. It is peak storytelling. The greatest trilogy of all time. Um, Guardians nearly beat it for me because I was so oh, about the ending of Guardians and shit, but I don't think... No, Lord of the Rings trilogy, I don't think will ever be beaten for me personally. My full three films are in my top films of all time alongside Into the Spider-Verse, Cross Spider-Verse and shit. Stuff that I'm very biased to and stuff that I adore. But anyway, visuals, we're going to talk Lord of the Rings and we're going to talk my favourite scene slash moments starting now. Before we get started, I just quickly need to stress how fucking annoying this list was to make. I crossed up so many stuff out and re-put this in and re-put that in. I have watched the uh, the trilogy once a month for the, for the God knows how many for the past X amount of years. Even to the point now where sometimes I'm, I'm just listening to it at work. I'll put it on at work and I'll just listen away to the trilogy because I adore it so much. So many amazing moments and shit. So this was a very stressful list to make. So if you ask me again in a week's time, I might have changed my, my list and stuff. But yes, it was a stressful list. But yeah, let me know yours, and here we go. This is off at number 10. I'm going to say, not just like an individual moment, but the whole entire Weathertop scene, from arriving there to Aragon being that sexy little bastard he is, to just chucking flames and people, well, Rafe's faces and whatnot, to the hobbits making dinner and hearing the... That's a horrible Wraith impression. Uh, the Weathertop scene is phenomenal from Frodo being stabbed by a Morgul blade and all this kind of shit and uh, uh, to the, the Hobbits doing absolutely no, uh, and, uh, not a good job at defending them, getting pushed straight to the side to seeing Aragorn coming and fending off uh, all the Wraiths and doing absolutely fantastic. The way they entered in and everything and the way they left the... Um, the mist and the darkness and the light of Aragorn's fire and the movement from uh, Lord uh, uh, Frodo can see him uh, whilst he's got the ring on it and it's all blurry and horrible. Just just the way it's done, it's fucking phenomenal. It's fucking amazing. Uh, to the quite the quite intense uh, intensity of it, you felt when Frodo's putting the flame out after the hobbits, you know, nice crispy bacon, putting it out and you hear that scream, you, you feel it with him. You're like, oh my fucking God. They're really, uh, they can see you. Where's Aragorn? They're on the road. They need fucking help. It's quite intense and it's fucking awesome. The choreograph is is outstanding but it's to be fair it's Aragorn chucking flames about that will do me next up it is the prancing pony scene uh, and more specifically it's the wraiths uh, once again with the fucking wraiths uh, stabbing that you know the beds you know when um They've entered into the uh, the Prance and Pony. They're all charging through and whatnot. Uh, Barlamin Butterbur, if I remember his name is correctly, the uh, innkeeper. He sat there hiding. You can see him go past them, stuff like that. Um, 
uh, it's it's the moment where they're standing with the pillows because I remember when I first because I read I watched the films before I read the books so I remember that scene and I'm thinking oh my fucking god that the refs have got the, the fucking stabbing the shit out of them what the fuck's going here and the way they filmed it to be like when the first you know pillow gets stabbed and you see um, oh, who's it wakes up now is it Frodo whichever hobbit it wakes up be like oh my god they have stabbed and they've got me yet and the way the raves come into the room and they all crept in they're like that it terrified the life out of me it proper shit me up and I was like. These things are absolute demons. They're absolute fucking horrible. I think that's why I like when the weather's up seeing so much as well because I saw these little bastards and then not long after this we saw Aragorn fuck and I was like, yeah, fuck off you little knobheads. Not realising they're going to come back and cause even more havoc with Arrow and uh, running, running about with her horse and shit. But the prancing pony scene where the raves come in and they start stabbing some fucking beds. I can remember young, how old would I have been? 10 or 11 maybe? Uh, me in the cinema like, oh my fucking God, this is terrifying. Absolutely beautiful. Eight is the uh, Haradrim with the Mama Kill on the, the the Battle of Pelennor Fields. I wanted to just say the Battle of Pelennor Fields, but there's a lot that goes on inside of that entire battle. I, I, I'm going to take scenes out from it because we will come back to Pelennor and shit. Um, but yes, the Mama Kill coming. The Rohirrim have just stormed in, done their thing. They're like, yes. And then they have to look around, fade and God rest. Uh, looking around, but like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, here come the big, massive elephants. Uh, Mama Kill coming down with the Haradrim, blowing the horns, like, yeah, I'm fucking going nuts. But then seeing, like, Aemir just going nuts and chucking a spear and taking down you and Legolas coming in and fucking with the arrows. and just, the, 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 the Mama Kill in general and, and Pelennor Fields, because, like you said, you felt like the the, 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 the tide of war was, was going back to the force of good. Then these coming, you think, ah, oh, fuck, shit, what's going on? Obviously, when Aragorn rocks up with the army of the dead and stuff, it's all right, it's red. But when, I, again, once again, first watching it, being like, this is absolutely intense and crazy. These bastards are here. What the fuck's going to happen now? We're all the row here. I'm going to die. Is that it over? Or have we lost? What the fuck is going on? And it was just beyond exciting. I was over the moon. Like, I was excited because of the scene, but I was, like, in my heart, like, someone fucking stop them. Someone stop the fucking elephants. Even to the point, I hate, I fucking hate when animals die in films. I didn't mind when the mama kill died, though. I thought, you, you little bastards. Fuck you! I was actually happy for them to be disposed of, but yes, the 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 arrival, the charge, whatever you want to call it, of the Haradrim and Mama Kill and the Mama Kills just oh. The Ents attacking Isengard. There's not much to love about this. There's not much. There's not a lot to not like, not love about this scene from the beginning of it to uh, the damn flood in Isengard to Saruman looking up being like, oh shit, there's fucking water everywhere. We're fucked to watching that lovely little end put his, put his fucking flame out and shit to Mary Pippin launching rocks. Um, John Reese davis doing a beautiful voice uh, acting of Treebeard and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely amazing scene. Seeing like... Um, Again, we've gone through the two towers and that feeling like, yes, we've got one of the wins. One of the good guys, we've got a decent win here. We've we've took out Isengard, you know, we're very much a stronghold, a, a strong point of the, the forces of evil um, going forward. We've, we've, we've neutralized that, we've done dusted. The whole bit thing about it is just so fucking awesome uh, to see the, the good guys win with quite ease as well. They're very, they're not resisted very much in the film. Uh, when they arrive to Isengard and they start taking shit out. Yes, one of the two of them might get set on fire and all that kind of shit. One of them might get brought down, but there's not much resistance. I, I know the orcs and uh, you know everyone at Isengard weren't expecting the attack, um, but yeah, they, they sort of come in and just swept up and cleaned house. It would have been nice to see their Ents as well, just charge at the Battle of Pelennor Fields. Imagine that. Imagine the Ents going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Mummy Kill. That would have been fantastic. But yes, the Ents seizing and taking control uh, and, and destroying Isengard. God, I'm so... Uh, this list is so hard. I'll stick with what I've written down. And it's Moria. More specifically, all of Moria is amazing. Um, just visually, it's beautiful. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll go more towards uh, the Battle at Balin's tomb. Um, Skimley on the tomb of Balin and whatnot. Um, my cousin Balin would give us a real welcome. Great impression, Dan. Well done. Uh, to the, the Sean Bean sort of not scared. Well, Boromy is not scared, but like... They've got fucking cave troll, haven't they? I've got to stop swearing. They don't, they don't swear, but I'm just adding it in that they have a cave troll. Sort of like, uh, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Look to Gandalf protecting the hobbits. But even before that, the um, the calmness to, well, Gimli's shock and, and despair and heartbreak to seeing what's happened to Gandalf reading, uh, to Pippa looking around and seeing the skeleton go down the well to the, we're, we're okay here to... <laughs> and then the, the, the beat of the drums and then the march and the, the ferocity of where the goblins come charging in the stuff with the cave troll oh, Frodo being stabbed for what felt like the millionth time even though it was only 
a couple of times at this point uh, to uh, Sam, I think. I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, Legolas and Gimli and Aragorn all doing their bits. It was phenomenal. It was outstanding. It was amazing. I fucking love Moria as a whole, but I guess more specifically that bit. But we do have another Moria moment coming up. It's of course, the Balrog reveal. Now, I love the... I love you, Sean. I love all of that bit. But I think my favourite Balrog moment is when the Fellowship is surrounded, the Goblin's like, yeah, we got you, you bastards, fuck off. And then all of a sudden you hear the, the death or the, 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 the growl from, from the depths of Moria. Then we start to slowly get the little bit of light coming through. And the Goblin's like, fuck this, we're away, we know what's coming. Gandalf does that look because he knows what's coming. And that first initial thing, and I think I go back to me in the cinema, oh, just being sat there and being like, looking around. I can, I can see it now, I'm all excited, like, What's coming? What the fuck? What the fuck is coming? Because obviously, previously, before this, I hadn't read the books and stuff. Like I said, we saw a little glimpse of the page of, you know, where Simon's like, you know what lies in the shadows of Moria. And Gandalf's looking for him and he sees the, uh, the, the page of the, the Balrog and the eyes and whatnot. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is this? What is this beast? What is going on? Are we, are we dead yet? Are we done? Are these boys going to die? Just not having a clue what's going on. Sweating, feeling like, oh, so nervous and just crazy and over the top. Oh, the reveal of the Balrog. It's well, the reveal, the the first sort of little murmur of the Balrog. I fucking love it. I'm on Hen. I'm going to say I'm on Hen as a, as a whole. Uh, and once again, it, there's another bit of I'm on Hen that we're going to get to. But from um, Boromir, you know, collecting his, his wood for the fire to turning on Frodo. And being like, yeah, and Frodo kicking him down and whatnot. To Aragorn finding Frodo. And, you know, he's like, swore to protect you. Then seeing Sting light up and being like, fuck. And Aragorn coming, reveal himself, holding his, his sword ready to go. The, the, the Urukai are coming. He's like, fucking, let's have it. To, you know, boo, boo, the Horn of Gondor that trying to march away back to him. Boromir protecting uh, Merry and Pippin and stuff. Oh my god, Amon Hen is so amazing. The Fellowship probably is and will always be my favourite film out of the trio. They're all they're all top tier. When I say favourite, I don't mean like favourite by a by a mist uh, a distance. I mean like my favourite by like a Rizzler paper thin away. I, I just love the Fellowship and I love Amon Hen. Absolutely amazing. Again, the choreograph to it is so phenomenal. The the way they shot it, and you can see the Urukai is going down the hill. We've got Legolas, Gimli, and Boromir. Uh, sorry, Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn up here fighting. And then we see the camera pans down, goes down. We see the Uruk uh, Urukai marching down. Boromir is there, fended away. Um, the absolutely emotional, crazy. Once again, I hadn't read the books at this point. I didn't know Boromir was about to die. Seeing him get hit and being like, Oh my fucking god, oh no, hey, come on, you're alright, so they get hit again, then hit again, then Lurt's being right in front of him, and I've stood in front of that Lurt, it's obviously not with somebody in it, they put the makeup on a, a mannequin, I'm getting fucking goosebumps, and uh, the London History Museum had everything, and I stood there as a kid looking at Lurt, thinking, <sighs> and I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest now, I'm not, I'm not even ashamed a minute, a little bit of wee left my penile, a little bit of wee left my penile, I stood up looking at Lurt, because I just felt like this is how Boromir felt, like just what the fuck there again Boromir was definitely braver than me and I, I, I absolutely shit myself it was terrifying I remember I'm a young kid at the time there's a, there's a picture of Fat Dan somewhere in his Lord of Rings shirt uh, doing this uh, I can't remember where the picture is now uh, but yeah I'm on Hen outstanding <laughs> Free Ride of the Rohirrim. Do I need to detail and break down why this is so fucking amazing and how it's made the top three? It's the Ride of the fucking Rohirrim. The, throughout the, the Return of the King, you obviously, you know, the, the, they're all getting together. The big and the late, then, because at first, Sweden's like, why, why, why should we go to them dickheads? They didn't come to us, but why should we go to them? But then eventually, it's swayed because the beacons are late and eventually get there, and uh, Ferdin's gathering up his men, as many men as he possibly can. And then throughout the film, you're like, are they going to come? Uh, Denifor's looking out thinking, oh, you fared and abandoned us. He's, he's fucking not coming, is he? And he's like, oh, is he not coming? I could have sworn that they they were at a campsite and they were getting more people and they, they were riding out. I, I could swear they're coming. And then the, the orcs are attacking. It's not looking great. You know, the minister is uh, getting absolutely smashed to pieces. But then they rock up the horns there. They all make the thing. And we have that phenomenal, oh my God, we have that phenomenal speech um, from there and himself. Oh, Maybe one of the best speeches in any film. It, it maybe I, it's got a good shout of being the best bit of dialogue from the the trilogy. I don't know. I love Sam's speech so much at the end of Two Towers. Well, I want to hear about Miss more more about Mister Frodo. I love that interaction. But I pro yeah probably maybe the best bit of dialogue in the trilogy. I reckon so anyway. It's it, if not a top there to one of the most badass moments. And like I said, we get that bot moment. We roll through. We smash with the orcs. The orcs, you know, uh, fire it well. And they, they take out a couple of riders, but then they smash it in them hard. Um, and the orcs are like, oh, 
shit, shit, and they get proper smashed into it. And then we get to lead into the Mummy Kill and the Haradrim and all that. Oh, it's beautiful and amazing. Do, do I need to speak any more about the, 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 the march uh, of the Rohirrim? To, like I said, I'm on here and I said we'll be back here. It's Aragorn versus Lurtz. And not a very long fight, but one of the most intense fights ever. Like I said uh, before we were speaking about it, we go for Boromir on his knees, looking up, sort of like shit, to Aragorn charging at the side of him. And you're like, oh my fucking God, he's here. He's here. Boromir's going to be all right. He's going to survive. Obviously, we know now he doesn't. Um, it's all right, but Aragorn getting into this crazy, brutal, hard-hitting fight against Lurtz. Uh, this um, absolute, uh, crazily intimidating, scary figure in front of him. Um, and once again, I spoke about choreography. The way this fight's choreographed from uh, Lurtz getting stabbed into the leg to chucking the dagger to the dagger that was supposed to be chucked a bit further away. And I think they were supposed to change it out. It's a real-life dagger that gets chucked at Viggo Mortensen. And he actually flings it away. So when you hear the ka because it's all fucking legit. Viggo Mortensen's an absolute unit of a man um, to the, the 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 shield being stuck against the tree and Ar Ar Aragorn being there and trying to have to pop out. Like I said, the stab, the, ch the, the chop of the arm, the stab in the belly. Lurtz being like, well, fucking Let's have it then, and then Aragorn chopping his head off and being like, <sighs> and then realizing Boromir, and then the send off to oh my god. Once again, young fat Dan in the cinema, like that. <laughs> Absolutely having the best time of my I think it's genuinely, I will be honest with you, I think it's because Lord of Rings, I love the cinema so much. I genuinely think that's that's true. But yes, uh, Aragorn versus Lurtz, number two. <laughs> Number one, I don't know why I did it like that. Number one is the Battle of Helm's Deep. Any part of this, I fucking love Helm's Deep. If, uh, yes, okay, the Battle of Pelennor Fields, Ministeria of Gondor, all that carry, even the Battle of the Black Gate, you could say it's a bit more bigger and epic. I, that, I, could, I can completely understand that. But the sheer impending doom and the story we got through and the story we went through to get to this from, uh, first of all, Aragorn falling off the cliff to then seeing how many Urukai were coming to then notifying them all to um, uh, the, the people of Rohan leaving Edoras to, to get to Helm's Deep and stuff. Uh, the battle with the wags and all that kind of carry on and then we get there you know there's hardly any men but we get some reinforcement with some elfie boys the women the children the children in the in the caves that we can hear the march and the stomping the way that it was the way that it was filmed filming overnight well done peter jackson um the way that uh the the the, the Urukai slowly come in and then we see the men there all sort of you know uh not 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 like tramps but you know um uh, farmer boy, you know, they get mentioned and they're not like um, some have seen too, uh, too many witnesses, some have seen too few. Uh, just regular old men, little kids and whatnot. Um, up against all the uh, the, the, the 10,000 Urukai, we see fed and stood there ready to rock and roll. Then we slowly hear the, the crackle of the thunder and the lightning and whatnot. And then we get the little the little raindrops hit on the the tip, well, the, the metal of the armor and shit, and it slowly comes in from the berserker charging and blowing the wall to fade. And even at one point, is this all you can muster? And then, like I said, the big explosion to Legolas sliding down on his uh, on on the shield to Aragon um, and Gimli fending them off uh, the Urukai off, uh, so the the the, uh, the Ro uh, men of Rohan can try and repair the gate and all that kind of carry on to bar themselves in to charging out one last time to. Oh, to everything, to Gandalf arriving, everything about Helm's Deep is just absolutely amazing. It's for me my favourite battle out of any, even out of like war films and shit, or or you know anything that I've seen from like Game of Thrones or any other. Lord. It's my favourite battle of all time. It, it even beats the likes of a battle between um, a, a, a Captain America Civil War, a Team Iron Man versus Team Cap. That's absolutely perfect and amazing for me. But this battle's even better. This It's just fucking outstanding and I love it so fucking much. My number one favourite Lord of Rings moment slash scene of all time is one entire massive collection of scenes. It's the Battle of Helm's Deep. We go visuals, my favourite moments from the Lord of Rings trilogy, live action films, like I said, we're not talking books or the old uh, animated stuff and whatnot. Just the live action films. But please let me know yours in the comments below. I dying to let you know. And when was the last time you've trilled it up? Because to me, when everyone says the trilogy, some people might mean original Star Wars and whatnot. Some people might mean original and Indiana Jones. There's a few trilogies you can mention, but when you say a me trilogy, this is the trilogy. Uh, so visuals, let me know in the comments below. But more importantly, thank you for letting me rant on about all my favourite Lord of the Rings shenanigans there. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to always keep being you. And keep on, uh, keep on. Keep on.